Good day guys, so today I'm just going to talk a little bit about how I got my 5k time down from 43 minutes to 33 minutes, which look, let's be real, it's really slow and you know, I do feel kind of embarrassed and ashamed to admit that, you know, I'm a very slow runner, but everyone's going to start somewhere, you know, I'm just trying to, you know, help you guys out, like, you know, we don't want to see another influencer you know, feeling sorry for themselves when they run like an 18 minute 5k. Like, oh, no, no one cares that they really like, you know, this is real, you know, I'm starting from, you know, nothing like my aerobic base is pretty fucked. So yeah, this is real, man. This is real. I'm a slow runner. I told you how I got better. I've never been a good runner. This is real stuff. This is the real good advice I'm giving you. So without further ado, look, it's really simple. If you want to get better at running, run more. You know, you have all these people, oh, you know, take three days rest, do a strength session. No, run more. If you want to get better at running, and if you're okay with sacrificing strength, just run every day. You don't have to run a 5K every day, you don't have to run a 10K every day. But if you want to get better at something, just do the thing. Just run, run more. So that's, that's literally what I did for the... At the first beginning of the year, I was like, right, I'm a fucking shit runner. How am I gonna get better at running? I'm gonna run more. So for like a week, two weeks, I just ran 5K every day. It sucked. I was slow. I was tired, but I got better. The first few days when I was running, my heart rate was like 180, but by the end of that, I was in, my heart rate was like 160, running like a 40 minute 5K. Progress. I made progress by just doing the thing. The next piece of advice I give is, obviously you run, but then you also want to learn about running, you know? Pick up a book. Listen to a podcast. One of my favorite influencers, Anna Archer. I listened to her podcast on how she, you know, ran a marathon. Really helpful. You know, I follow, you know, some good fitness influencers. Johnny. Oh, fuck, I forgot his last name, but I'll put it in the edit. You know, I, I learned about running, you know, I listened to what these guys had to say. And honestly, you can do most things when you make it simple. If you want to get better at running, you run, you learn about running. I don't think it's that complex. The next bit of advice I would give is invest in some proper running shoes. So I went down to my local running store and I got some uh, running shoes tailored to my feet. So I've got quite wide feet, which I never knew before. So they got me some feet. They've got me some shoes tailored to wide feet. And oh my God, like running was so much easier. Before, you know, I'd be like 3K into a 5K, feet of fucking pounding in agony. And it's because your feet expand when they get hot. So, you know, you want shoes that are a little bit too big to begin with. But then you get into the run, they'll be the right size. So yeah, I got wider shoes. I got ones that fit in my gait. So, when you go to a running store and you ask for shoes personalised to you, they'll put you on a treadmill, they'll figure out the way you, you run and then they'll get your shoes specified to that. And for me, that was really helpful. Like, I use them every day, feet feel great, no aching. So that's definitely the next piece of advice I'd give. And my next tip is run slower, try and get some zone two and zone three in. You want to build up that aerobic base. It makes you better at running for longer, pretty much. So, you know, I do slow runs, and then if I got pissed off at running, I couldn't be asked. I'd do some swimming. I think swimming is actually a really good tip. If you're fed up at running, because that's be really fucking sucks. Either just run slower, or swimming, you know, swimming's quite fun. It stretches out the muscles. It's a bit more playful. You can you know, play around with different strokes. So for me, if I want to get some zone two, zone three in, because that's what these influencers are saying to do. I'll go to the swim pool, 30 minutes, I'll just, you know, do a leisurely breaststroke, get that zone two, zone three in, and I've definitely felt better. I've definitely felt that it's made a difference. I feel like I don't get gassed as quick. And yeah, I mean, I think they're the main things really. The only other things I would recommend is uh, make sure you're drinking electrolytes to hydrate. Probably want to do some leg strengthening sessions as well so your knees don't end up aching. Check out my previous video for that. But yeah, I'm trying to think if there's anything I missed, but I'm pretty sure those are the top tips 
I can give you for wanting to reduce your 5k time or just generally get better at running. So yeah, thank you for watching. Like, comment and subscribe if you found that useful. And yeah, goodbye.